What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are wrapping up our first Yu-Gi-Oh! box opening uh, in Savage Strike. Um, we started uh, in the last Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and we did manage to pull a, a pretty good secret rare. Uh, however, we are hoping for that Phantasme, Pot Extravagance, um, or for the ultra rare slot, that Boral Load, Boral Load Savage Dragon. All right, so we do have 12 more packs, uh, and earlier today I did try to understand all the new mechanics since I played Yu-Gi-Oh like 15 years ago, um, and it does seem like um, they're not too bad. A lot of it, it revolves around, you know, basically kind of like what fusion summoning was, but they kind of simplified it where you didn't need a fusion card. Uh, only Link monsters have these links that can also do special effects. Um, synchro, synchros, you need a tuner as well as the normal requirements, and then XYZ uh, summons you. They have whatever they use to summon it are also materials that they can use for various things. So it's not as bad as I thought. Um, so let's jump into the opening. We have 12 more packs of Savage Strike. And yeah, that'd be awesome if we could pull that Phantasme Dragon. I'm always nervous when handling Yu-Gi-Oh cards when they have like the, the sharp corners. I feel like it feels like it's more probably easier to get damage. So I'm not crazy about that in general versus uh, things like Pokemon cards where it's kind of like rounded. All right, for the first pack, we have a child's play. And then, oh, there's a notification on my phone. Um, all right, Elemental Hero, Cosmos, Neos. Ah, the Neos stuff was always pretty cool. And then Guard Dragon, Cataclysm for the first pack. And we're not going to, yeah, we'll kind of look at the arts. I do, I do really appreciate uh, the art in Yu-Gi-Oh. But of course, we're not gonna read all the effects because honestly, the font is too small. <laughs> Because of those corners, I'm nervous about damaging the cards when taking it out of the back. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, this was pretty cool. TG Tank Grub. Serenui Style Solemnity. And then a Guard Dragon Pisty. And followed by a Cyber Synchron. What is that? Alright, so nothing too crazy yet. Looking for some good ultra rares and a secret rare. Prank kids. All right, so we got the um, ghost girl, ghost meets girl, and then Trickstar Fusion. So there still is some fusion stuff, although a lot of these new mechanics don't require you to have fusion cards. One interesting thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! is like kind of how like the meta works where it's not like rotation based like most game or like other games like Magic or Pokemon. Uh, so like all the cards for the most part, unless unless they're banned, um, you can use. Um, so I do think that's pretty cool. So it kind of makes, you know, the old cards, they still might be relevant. And like as far as all the possibilities, I feel like there's just a lot like a lot more different decks that are viable as a result and even people that maybe it's i'm not sure if it's nostalgia kick or actually like if blue eyes is actually viable but you know with all the support that they keep adding um it only gets stronger all right neo space connector and then another neos card brave neos neos was always pretty cool in the gx series Alright, so I haven't hit that secret rare yet, and no good ultras yet. Alright, so here's one of those um, XYZ cards. Sharon Louis Synchro. Good old traps. Thunderclap Monk, got one of these earlier. And then TG Screw Serpent. Uh, but then, I kind of like how that game has evolved, where... Uh, Feel like you know traps i guess traps are still a thing but it's more like a lot of monsters are traps now for like the different cards that you you basically play from your hand and it's like a hand trap but it's a monster <laughs> there's all these different things it seems like a lot of the effects for a lot of the cards are just different ways to pump out various monsters just so that you can link summon uh oh okay there whoa this is it guys this is the card uh Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. This card 
is absolutely insane. Um, if if you were to buy it online, it would cost you like $100. Um, and let's just read read its effect real quick. I'm going to read it on my computer because this, look how small this text is. All right. If your opponent special summons a link monster, except during damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. That is crazy. Um, draw cards equal to the number of link monsters your opponent control plus one, then shuffle cards into the deck equal to number like so you, you draw a bunch of cards and then you put a bunch back where but you net one extra card uh but it does allow you to cycle through your hand then shuffle cards yep remember that when your opponent activates a card effect that targets monsters you control you can activate this card for a quick effect discard a card and negate it and destroy it so this card is absolutely insane um where it can just come out of nowhere and then negate different stuff so wow can't believe we pulled this on our first box um wow what a hit and so since i don't have specific Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves the um what a penny sleeve is to a pokemon card or magic card a perfect fit is to Yu-Gi-Oh card <laughs> so there's a little bit of space in there but they still protect it man wow i can't believe we got that on our first box Whew. I don't, I don't think this will get any better. Uh, two, two, one good secret rare, and then the best one on top of that. This is one heck of a box. One heck of a way to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, for the next secret rare, we got Share New Spectral Sword Shade. And then another Cataclysm. And it... Sometimes when it comes to like the fact that you always get a super rare and then sometimes and then for certain sets you get a super rare and a rare. Sometimes I wasn't crazy about it, but when a set actually has rares that are you know meaningful, um, I think I think I think that's one thing about this set that I'm excited to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! with this set. If that's the case, otherwise it seems like People is like they just ignore the rare altogether, which is kind of silly to me. At that point, it might as well be a common. All right, so we got an ultra rare share, Nui something supremacy, and then world legacy wizard arc. World arc. The way that the the shine is, it's honestly hard to read some of the cards. Well, it might just be my lighting situation here. All right, so awesome opening, um, awesome box. Um, that that one card paid for like the box plus plus like 50% like 150% the cost of the box was recouped in that single card alright so then we got Brave Neos again man we're getting a lot of duplicates well I wouldn't mind getting some more of that Solomon Great um, rare card especially if we're going to pull dupes alright so we do got two packs left we'll wrap this up especially since we already hit the jackpot all right, we got that Grub again, and then a Fateful Hour, then Fusion of Fire. All right, guys, last pack. Whew. So if you if you think that pull was as crazy was as crazy as I did, uh, hit that like button. Um, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do a lot of uh, Pokemon videos, and now we're starting to branch out into Yu-Gi-Oh! And we also do magic content as well. And our last card is the Sky Striker Ace Kaina, followed by a Rocket Synchron. And let's just see, anything cool, anything cool? Not really. Alright, so there you have it. We got one major hit, but is the as big of a hit as it gets. That Fantastical Dragon Phantasme don't even can't really see it. it doesn't look like a dragon to me kind of reminds me of like super saiyan version of sparkman from Yu-Gi-Oh gx um but there you guys have it what an awesome box i'm really happy with the results and really happy to be back in Yu-Gi-Oh. uh even with all these crazy mechanics that have uh been introduced since the last time i played uh so that's it for the opening guys um thanks for watching hit that like button uh to support the channel subscribe for future content if you're not already a sub and other than that i'm one turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace